I like chilling. I like going out a lot. I like going out with friends to musical places. I like going out on Friday night to have fun. So normally I gather my friends, we go out on Friday night, Saturday night, sometimes even Sunday. Because basically what happens is we work the whole week, we don't get time for ourselves. So what I do is I gather them up, we go for, from one club to the another club. We go from, we go from pubs to pubs to chill, basically. But the funny thing is, I don't have the energy to chill way deep in the night. So what ha actually happens is, at 1 a.m., I get tired. I get so tired that I need to pack up my bags and go straight home. My way to the house is always funny. My journey is always and always, always funny. There's always police barriers on the streets of Accra, and anywhere you pass, you meet one or two barriers that stop you, and they'll be like, hey, how are you doing? What do you have for us? What did you do today? Did you go out chilling? Obviously, I went out chilling. But they keep on asking these questions, stopping us from getting home safely, or probably getting home early. You know, the funny thing is, they've been doing this to me for a very long time, that I decided to find a loophole around it. Ideally, I needed a solution for myself, because when I'm tired, I really want to just cruise through the streets of Accra, get home safely, and then sleep. So one day, I chilled way deep in the night. I decided to go home around 4 a.m. I drove through like some few principal streets, and I found out that the police has actually left their post. The next week, I did the same, but instead of 3 o'clock, I went like 2 o'clock, and the guys weren't around. So I discovered that any time you go out to chill, and it's a secret, any time you go out to chill, and it's 2 o'clock and you decide to go home, you won't find them on the streets. So you can actually cruise your way through and then just get, get home. I did that for a lot of times. And then I, I discovered later, and I was like, why am I doing this? Because one, the streets are dark. Anybody can actually tell me and then get anything that he wants from me. There could be robbers on the street. Anybody can just come in and steal my car or get anything from me, and I could even be hung. So it got me thinking. I have a second story. I'll come back to the first one. I've been working eight years of my life. Eight years of my life doing eight to five. Another two years of my life doing 9.30 to 5.30. That was in, in the U UK. You know, the funny thing is, when I started working in the UK, it was... I was so happy because it wasn't anywhere else than Google Campus. I started working at Google Campus with a company called Revision App. They did amazing stuff. We created apps. I always go to work so happy. I had that much energy. But later on, I discovered one thing. It wasn't about Google or probably the environment or anything. I was just happy to work. I had that much energy to do any kind of thing that I wanted to do, to the extent that my boss would literally come later and say, hey, boy, you need to go home. I'm not paying you the next hour. Obviously, some of the times I needed one or two hours to make up some few bills. But basically, I was really having fun. Comparing that two years to the number of years I've worked here in Ghana, there was a big difference, a huge difference. Here, I wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I do a whole lot of things. Get in my car, drive to work, go to work with so much energy. And you know, the funny thing is, just around 3 o'clock, my energy level starts going down. It starts sinking. Productivity is almost like zero. I can actually do anything. I asked some few friends, and lucky enough, you know, it was almost everyone. It's more like at 3 o'clock, most of the people in the country have energy levels going down. We can actually do so much after 3. All because we wake up that early in the morning to start thinking about so many stuff, and I'm going to explain to you why. The brain works in an amazing way. Optogenetics, a study by MIT, states that when the 
when you have sunshine, when you have your brain exposed to sunshine, it begins calibrating. It begins doing a whole lot of things. So we wake up so early in the morning, there is sunshine, our brain starts working, we drive, we text, we do a whole lot of things, we sit in that trotro, we work our way around to work, and we go to work with that energy. We start working, and then our energy level starts going up. But basically, around 9 o'clock, we all feel tired. This is the reason why sometimes around 9 or 10, we feel like eating wache, bangkun, jollof, my favorite. And we keep on doing a whole lot of those kind of things. Because we wake up early, our brain wakes up early to the light, and we keep working. We keep working. We, pe- we keep pushing our way through. When it gets to 3 o'clock, our body levels go down. Our energy, energy levels go down. We decline. This affects the business because you're not able to put out your maximum output for the business. You lose two hours of working life every day. You lose two, you lose two hours of, of working put, uh, momentum every single day. And it's really funny because it will affect your KPI, it will affect your KRA, it will affect the company's revenue, and it will affect your pocket as well because at the end of the month or probably at the end of the year, you don't get bonus. It happens. Most, countries have, most companies I've worked for in Ghana sometimes get to the end of the year and we don't really get bonuses. It's not because we don't do well. It's because we work, but our system doesn't favor us. We've programmed ourselves to work two hours earlier than our expected time to finish work. We finish work at five and we go home and sleep. We actually do not have life. We work, go back home, come back the next morning, work, and the cycle continues. Just like that. Every single day. There is no momentum to work after 3 o'clock. But I have a solution for us. The funny thing is, when the sun comes up at 6, it does a whole lot of things to our brain. What if we move the sun from 6 to eight, and I'll show you how. What if we change our clocks? At 6 a.m., we go to 8 a.m., and then at 6 p.m., we change to what? 8 p.m. This means you have to wake up at normal 4 p.m., which will become your new 6 a.m., to drive to work. So you drive in the darkness. I mean, there's a bit of darkness in Ghana, but you wouldn't have full darkness around 4 o'clock. The light still comes out well. You drive in darkness, you text in darkness, you board the trotro, you go to work, and when the light comes up, you have that much energy to put out for your work. You give out your work your maximum potential, you give, you, you give your work all your energy, and basically at 3 o'clock that you're supposed to be tired, or your energy level goes down, that 3 o'clock becomes your 5 o'clock. So you see, you work full-time for your work, you have, um, uh, your energy level goes up, you, give your, your, you meet your KPIs at the end of the month, you're able to get money for your company, the money for your company, and, I mean, your company gets revenue, and then basically ends up into tax. So the country also gets more revenue, more money to do what they need to do. The funny thing is, three o'clock becomes your five o'clock. So you have three, four, five, six, to chill again. You have sunshine from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock, which means your 3 o'clock becomes your 5 p.m., and then your sundown at 6 o'clock becomes your 8 p.m. So you have three hours of sunshine to do what you need to do. You can go back home and kiss that baby of, of yours. Hello. You can go back home, pick your wife, pick your kids, and go to the beach. You can have life after work. At normal time, you never have life after work. You wake up in the morning, you go to work, you come back home, you sleep. No life after work. But if we move our son two hours ahead, it means we are going to have life after work. Going back to the police story, it's a very funny one. At 9 o'clock, the police normally come to town because it's way too dark. They need to protect us. They come to town. They do a whole lot of police checks. This means that if we move our time up, the police is going to come to town at 11 o'clock. And normally, instead of leaving at 2.30, they'll be leaving at 4.30. That's the exact time you wake up. So we bridge the gap for security. Not only that, 
The very funny thing is we save two hours of electricity every single day. And I'll prove to you why. An example, you know our malls runs way in the dark. They run way into the evening. Our malls open at 9 o'clock and then closes at some time 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock. So they use proper electricity from 6, from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. If we move our sun up, it means that our 6 p.m. becomes 8 p.m. and the 10 p.m. that they need to close becomes 8 p.m. Our normal 8 p.m. So they'll, use, they'll, go, they'll actually go two hours into darkness, which is really great because we will be saying two hours of sunshine every single day. You pick this model and apply it to any other factory in Ghana, apply it to your households. It means that collectively, we will be saving two hours of sunshine, two hours of electricity every single day just by rethinking the way we experience the sun. Thank you very much.